Welcome to the Scouting Expedition Podcast, courtesy of the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. This is more than just a podcast, it's an adventure cast. Here we'll share stories and insights about the lifelong adventure, real world grit, and personal growth only found through scouting here in the Cascade Pacific Council. We'll have guests here indoors, but also head outdoors to meet those that make the scouting expedition come to life for thousands of local youth here in Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington. Each episode will start with the latest news, reminders, and important deadlines for our families, scouts, leaders, and volunteers, so you can just take a quick listen or watch in a way that's convenient for you. Then we'll dive into the topic of the day. So let's get started. Hello, Scout Scouters and friends, and thanks so much for joining us on today's edition of the Scouting Expedition Podcast. My name is Chris Bartell. I'm the Director of Marketing and Innovation here at the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. And today we're just going to give you a quick news update for those members in the Cascade Pacific Council. And of course, as you know, as you members know, that uh, all of the information you see here is actually in your email newsletter. So this is just an easier way for you to digest all of the awesome things that are happening here in the Cascade Pacific Council. So let's get started. And as always, we'd like to start off with a safety moment and, of course, encourage all of you scout units out there to, to have a safety moment before all of your events and activities and meetings and whatnot. And today's safety moment is all about Halloween. Here are some safety tips for kids and scouts uh, as you're heading out there and doing your trick-or-treating. First of all, you should choose a bright colored costume and you can add reflective materials and armbands, you know, like those little running bands you see, you can add those to your costume as well. Another tip is to choose face paint instead of masks so it's easier to see as you're walking around out there. And always, of course, accompany young children, it's kind of like YPT, right? And remind all the kids to stay in well-lit areas. You know, you have a lot of cars running around, a lot of people running around, and so stay in well-lit areas, a great tip. And lastly here, discard suspicious or open candy. Always a good tip. All right, let's dive into today's latest and greatest news from around the Cascade Pacific Council. Uh, speaking of Halloween, we have some tips and tools here for you to be able to invite your friends into scouting through Halloween. You could, of course, have a Halloween party on your, your next meeting. You could do a trunk or treat, or you can actually make custom labels and put them on your treats. We actually have all of the information on these things at cpcscouting.org on a blog post there. You'll see it right there on the homepage, so check it out. Speaking again of Halloween, Haunted Trails is back. And you can join us for a scary good time at Butte Creek Scout Ranch on October 25th and through the 27th. And you can bring friends, and it's going to be super fun. Uh, guests are actually invited on Saturday and Sunday. Lots of great activities. There are going to be six different haunts, as we like to say. There's, of course, going to be horseback riding and a variety of shooting sports and pumpkin carving and lots of fun activities. So join us for that and invite your friends. And speaking of Halloween, well, did you know, well, actually, for Halloween and holiday shopping, did you know that if you are a Fred Meyer shopper, you can support local scouts through the Community Rewards Program at Fred Meyer? All you have to do is sign into your digital account, and you go to this Community Rewards page and search for Boy Scouts of America, Cascade Pacific Council, and or you can use our number, HB807, and click Save. And what will happen is every time you shop, uh, they will send some money to the Cascade Pacific Council, and you'll be supporting scouting. Isn't that pretty neat? Also want to remind folks that, as you know, it is election season, and we just want to remind everybody that scouting is a place for citizenship, but not politics. And so we want to uh, encourage all of you scouters out there and scout leaders and adults to actually keep the politics at bay when it comes to scouting activities. And instead, you should teach citizenship. And how can you do that? Well, of course, for Scouts BSA Scouts, you know about citizenship in the nation, merit badge. But you know what? This is a great merit badge actually for anybody in scouting because you'll talk about the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and you'll review the Bill of Rights. And of course, you can just do those activities on your own. But Citizenship in the Nation Merit Badge, you can come pick that up at the Scout Shop. And it is a fantastic tool to walk your scouts through uh, citizenship and all that means to be a citizen here 
and the United States of America. We also want to let you know about our new adventures planning website. This has been really great. We have had scout units actually submit their adventures, and that's what we'd like you to do too, because if you check out the website at adventures.cpcscouting.org, you'll see it is this searchable database, kind of like all trails, if you're used to seeing all trails online, or kind of like Airbnb, almost that cool. Uh, well, what's really great is you can find different adventures there. We actually have done a podcast episode on this as well, so you can see the sort of how-to and the walkthrough guide there. But what we'd like you to do is, if you have some fun adventures that you've taken your scouts on, is we'd love to have you share them with us, and thus sharing them with all the other scouting units out there to help them plan some great adventures. And if you do that, if you submit an adventure and we approve it, you'll actually get a unit flag ribbon and we'll give you a great shout out there on social media so thanks to the units have already done this and uh, anyway check it out at adventures.cpcscouting.org let us know what you think and uh, you'll find some great adventures there from from museums and hiking trails uh, all the way to high adventure trips for you scouts vsa and older scout units and of course you'll also see cub scout approved campgrounds too Speaking of camping, we want to let you know about the weekend rides at Butte Creek Horse Ranch where you can go camping as well. But if you don't want to go camping, you can also just do a half or full day ride. This is happening now through December, and uh, it's really a fun, fantastic opportunity to see our horses, meet our wranglers, and go on some horse rides. Also, we want to remind the Scouts VSA and Older Scout Units that summer camp registration is now open for summer 2025. And uh, you're going to want to get in on those weeks that you want ASAP because they do fill up fast, some of those weeks. So also we want to let you know that we have sent out a survey to older scout units to find out where you're camping this year or next year and the year after, if you know that, because that will help us with our, our planning and scheduling purposes. So please take just a few minutes and fill that out for us. We really appreciate it. We also want to remind Merit Badge Counselors, or those who want to become a Merit Badge Counselor, that we have a new system called Badger, and it's a really great system. We did a podcast episode on this as well, walked everybody through how to do it. And for your current Merit Badge Counselors, you just simply create a login for that, and new Merit Badge Counselors, just register, you'll follow the instructions there, and it's, it's really great, just a great tool, a system of checks and balances to make sure that all of us Merit Badge Counselors out there know the heck, what the heck we're talking about when we're helping these kids through their Merit Badges. We also have some council events we want to remind you about. We have, coming up soon, again, the Trailblazers Scout Night. This is going to happen January 26th at 3 p.m. That's a Sunday, so a great day for young scouts and older scouts alike. You'll get early entry. You actually get a chance to be the Anthem Buddies and the Courtside Kids, and that's really, really fun. And you can also join us for post-game free throws as well after the game. That's super fun. Everybody gets in on that, loves it. Uh, so you'll see registration coming out soon, but we just want to make sure you save the date for that. Also want to let you know to save the date for the Winterhawks Scout Night. That's right. We're starting this up too. Super fun. Invite your friends to this and bring all your scouts. You'll, of course, get a patch just like you do with these Scout Nights, and you'll get to cheer on your Portland Winterhawks. That is happening on March 9th, 2024. Registration is coming soon for that, so we'll have more information on that soon, but just want to make sure you save the date for that. We also have a scout day that's going to happen with our friends at the Columbia Employee Store, and this is going to be great. Uh, you'll actually, of course, save some money by shopping at the Employee Store at Columbia Sportswear. Uh, this is happening on March 15th, but we're also inviting friends and family, and what's great is they're giving some of the proceeds to the sales of that day and uh, a few weeks thereafter uh, back to CPC Scouting. So that's pretty neat, uh, and we really appreciate them for that. So invite your friends out for that. Tell them to go shopping and get all your gear that you want there at the Columbia Employee Store. And uh, I tell you, it's some great stuff. I highly recommend the out-dry material. It is absolutely waterproof and incredible. Okay, we have some training events, too, we want to remind you about. We have Wilderness First Aid is happening. And as a matter of fact, you can join me on that because I'll be there October 26th through 27th. It's happening at, in Beaver Creek, Oregon. This is actually for youth and adults 
Uh, it's for youth 14 and up. So any of you out there who are interested in learning more about wilderness, specifically wilderness first aid, this is a fantastic training. I am super excited about it personally. I had one of my assistant scoutmasters went and did this a, a few weeks ago and loved it. Learned a ton. And what's really, really great about this hands-on training is that you'll actually meet the uh, Scouting America requirements for two years. So you'll be approved for wilderness first aid. So it is expert level. They'll also tweak the course based on some of the activities you want to do or you'll be planning on for the next you know year or two so if you have very specific activities or questions you know whether it's a uh, rock climbing or it's uh, it's good doing a high adventure um, and you'll actually get to tweak and modify and learn uh, all the things that you need to know about wilderness first aid for that we also want to let you know about the troop adult outdoor training that's happening this is actually called the introduction to outdoor leader skills uh, this is happening October 25th and 27th uh, through the 27th as well. It's at Camp Lewis, and this is a really fantastic training. For those of you who just kind of need an intro to the outdoor skills, this is what it is because that's why we call it that, I-O-L-S, Introduction to Outdoor Leader Skills, and it, you'll learn all the basics. Uh, it's really, really a great training program. If you're nervous about taking the kids outdoors, taking your scouts outdoors on adventures, boy, this class is for you. You're going to learn all these great skills that then you can pass along to your scouts uh, and you'll just learn them for life, which is really fantastic. We also, of course, want to remind you and invite everybody to come to University of Scouting and the College of Youth Leadership, which is happening on November 2nd at Mount Hood Community College. This University of Scouting is where you can actually take multiple classes, four or five classes, uh, based on uh, things you want to learn. And it is literally covers almost everything you can imagine in scouting and then some. There's everything from uh, mental health first aid uh, for youth and uh, there's actually communications classes. We have a marketing class of course and there are classes on Dutch oven cooking and first aid and knots and oh my gosh just so many classes and at the same time College of Youth Leadership is happening so this is a great opportunity for youth who want to you know level up their game in terms of leadership skills for their scout units. This is great and it's happening the same day so come on out for that. Bring your scout out there uh, really a wonderful, wonderful day of fellowship and fun. So register soon because these classes do fill up and there are a plethora of them to choose from, but they do fill up fast. So check that out. We also have some advancement opportunities to share. First of all, we wanted to let you know, for those of you who were planning to do the welding merit badge with our friends at GK Machine, that actually had to be postponed because of a scheduling conflict. So just so you know, you'll get more information on that soon when we reschedule it, but uh, that has been postponed. We also want to let you Weebelows know that there's a My Community event happening at the Oswego Heritage House in Lake Oswego. Really appreciate those folks who are hosting us for this. This is where you'll actually earn the My Community Adventure, and you're going to learn about local history. Really, really fun for you Weebelow Scouts. It's only 12 bucks, and uh, adult chaperones are required, but they are free, and you'll get to learn a little local history too. And that's it for today's edition of the Scouting Expedition podcast here in the Cascade Pacific Council of Scouting America. Thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. <laughs>